Grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of God. Knowledge of God. Not the knowledge about God. That word knowledge is intimate, personal relationship. It's not the knowledge about the world or about religion. It's not the knowledge about the Jews. It's the living knowledge of God. Okay? Our Lord Jesus Christ, according to his divine power, he's given unto us everything that pertains to life and godliness. But Michael, I, I just don't see how it's changed. I, you know, everything passed away and everything's supposed to be new, but, 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 but he's given it to you, everything that pertains to this life and everything having to do with you in godlikeness, sonship. Through the knowledge of him that has called us to glory in verse 8, whereby he has given unto us precious, exceeding great, and precious promises. You remember Joshua? He was talking to those guys back then about meditating on the things that he had just given them. He had given them promises. Do you know what the things that he told those people to meditate on? God says, you're blessed going in, you're blessed going out, you're blessed in the city, you're blessed in the field, you're blessed in all the fruit of your body, you're blessed in healing, you're blessed in all the works of your hands, you're blessed. You're... That's what he told them, to meditate on those promises. We've been given exceeding great and precious promises. That's why when we usually get everyone started and we get you going, we try to get you into some classes. We have some online. Foundational classes about who you are as a son. It just blows my mind. Val was talking to me about somebody, and, and then Paul over in Romania was talking to me about somebody else that has, has come into it and been into it for years and didn't understand some of the very basic things about being a son in their soul. They didn't, they didn't get it. That's why John says this word to you. Behold. Look with intensity to fully understand. Behold. Not just look at it. Oh, looky there. No. Behold. What is the manner of love that God has for you? He calls you Son. There's one right there. If I'm talking to you tonight and you're hearing me, and you don't have, you're aware, you're, you're honest with yourself. I don't, I don't really realize so much about who I am as a son. Well, you know, I've been at it 50 years and I'm, I'm just starting. Okay. But when I love, when, when I start meditating on the fact that he loves me, he calls me, he calls me, a son. I'm a new creation. I'm a son. Then that <clears throat> begins to <coughs> grow and increase and multiply my identity as a son. More and more and more. Focusing on your identity as a son will cause you to grow in your reality of being a son. <clears throat> 